So in order to fully make sense of this video, you really need to have looked at McLaren's series at this point. So if you haven't done so, then you're going to need to go and look at that first. So results from McLaren's series showed that you could write sine x, cosine x, and e to the x, among others, as an infinite series, uh, infinite polynomial series. Okay, so. We've got the expressions for sine x, cosine x, and e to the x up here uh, as an aid. Now, these can also be shown to be true for complex numbers as well, for x being a complex number. Now, I'm not going to uh, go into any kind of proof of that, but if you are interested, uh, that's a, a Google search away. Okay? So, the idea here is I'm going to take that e to the x one, and I'm going to replace the x with i theta. So let's write our e to the i theta. So what you would have is 1 plus i theta plus i theta squared over 2 factorial. OK, so let's keep going. Uh, we'll have i theta cubed over 3 factorial. We'll have i theta to the 4 over 4 factorial. We'll have i theta to the 5 over 5 factorial. Plus dot, 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 on and on and on. OK, so quick little reminder here. OK, so you've got i, then you've got i squared is minus 1, i cubed is minus i, i to the 4, OK, so minus i times by i will get you back to 1, then i to the 5 will be i, and so on and so forth. OK, so let's simplify this. We've got 1 plus i theta plus... Now you've got i squared here, which is minus 1. So you can have minus, or take away, theta squared over 2 factorial. I'm going to leave the factorials in there. I'm not going to simplify those. Then you've got i cubed, so minus i. So take away i theta cubed over 3 factorial. Then you've got i to the 4, so 1. So plus theta to the 4 over 4 factorial. Then you've got i to the 5, so i is plus i theta to the 5 over 5 factorial, OK, plus dot, 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 dot. Now, what we can then do is we can separate this infinite series into its real and imaginary parts. So what real parts do we have? Well, we've got the 1, then we've got the take away theta squared over 2 factorial. Then we've got the theta to the 4 over 4 factorial plus an infinite load of terms, OK, plus i times, now the imaginary part. So we've got theta, so theta i. Then we've got take away theta cubed over 3 factorial. Then we're going to have plus theta to the 5 over 5 factorial plus an infinite number of other terms. OK? Now, look back at your McLaren series, right? This bit here is precisely the same as this one here, where the x is theta. And so that infinite series there is cosine of theta. And this one is precisely the same as this one. OK, and so you've got sine theta, so i sine theta. So what we've shown is that e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. These two things are the same. OK, now with that in mind, the consequence is that if you've got a complex number z equals uh, r cosine theta plus i sine theta, OK, then it can also be written in the form r e to the i theta. 
Okay, so you've got this alternative way of writing um, the complex number down in its uh, modulus argument form.